Betadine, or Chlordan, is an organic chlorine compound used as a pesticide. This white solid was sold in the U.S. until 1988 as an insecticide for treating approximately 30 million homes for termites for crops like corn and citrus, and on lawns and domestic gardens. Technical gray chlordane is a complex mixture of over 120 structurally related chemical compounds, production, composition and uses. Chlordane is one so-called cyclodine pesticide, meaning that it is derived from hexachlorocyclopentadiene. Hexachlorocyclopentadiene forms in a duct with cyclopentadiene, and chlorination of this duct gives predominantly two isomers, and comma in addition to other products such as transnonuclear and hepticlor. The isomer is popularly known as gamma and is more bioactive. The mixture that is composed of 147 components is called technical chlordane. It was sold in the United States from 1948 to 1988, both as a dust and an emulsified solution. Because of concern about damage to the environment and harm to human health, the United States Environmental Protection Agency EPA, banned all uses of chlordane in 1983, except termite control. The EPA banned all uses of chlordane in 1988. The EPA recommends that children should not drink water with more than 60 parts of chlordane per billion parts of drinking water, 60 parts per billion, for longer than one day. EPA has set a limit in drinking water of 2 parts per billion. Chlordane is very persistent in the environment because it does not break down easily. Recent tests of the air in the residents of U.S. government housing, 32 years after chlordane treatment, showed levels of chlordane and heptachlor 10 15 times the minimal risk levels, 20 nanograms, cubic meter of air published by the Centers for Disease Control. It has an environmental half-life of 10 to 20 years. Origin, Pathways of Exposure, and Processes of Excretion In the years 1948 to 1988 chlordane was a common pesticide for corn and citrus crops, as well as a method of home termite control. Pathways of exposure to chlordane include ingestion of crops grown in chlordane-contaminated soil, inhalation of air near chlordane-treated homes and landfills, and ingestion of high-fat foods such as meat, fish, and dairy, as chlordane builds up in fatty tissue. The United States Environmental Protection Agency reported that over 30 million homes were treated with technical chlordane or technical chlordane with hepticlor. Depending on the site of home treatment, the indoor air levels of chlordane can still exceed the minimal risks levels MRLs, for both cancer and chronic disease by orders of magnitude. Chlordane is excreted slowly through feces urine elimination, and through breast milk in nursing mothers. It is able to cross the placenta and become absorbed by developing fetuses in pregnant women. A breakdown product of chlordane, the metabolitic cyclordane, accumulates in blood and adipose tissue with age. Environmental Impact Being hydrophobic Chlordane adheres to soil particles and enters groundwater only slowly, owing to its low solubility, 0.009 parts per million. It degrades only over the course of years. Chlordane bioaccumulates in animals. It is highly toxic to fish, with an LD50 of 0.022 to 0.095 mg kg. Oral. Two components of the chlordane mixture, cisnonuclear and transnonuclear, are the main bioaccumulating constituents. Transnonuclear is more toxic than technical chlordane and cisnonuclear is less toxic. Oxychlordane, C10H4Cl8O, is the primary metabolite of chlordane. Chlordane is a known persistent organic pollutant 
pop, classified among the dirty dozen and banned by the 2001 Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants. Health effects multiple studies published in the last five years that measured metabolites of chlordane, heptachlor in the blood of U.S. citizens during the U.S. National Health and Examination Surveys, NHANES 1999-2006, reported that higher concentrations of heptachlor epoxide and excychlordane increased the risk of cognitive decline, liver damage liver enzymes, peripheral arterial disease, prostate cancer, transnonicular, type 2 diabetes, and obesity, waist circumference. In other large epidemiological surveys, higher levels of excychlordane in both blood and adipose increase the risk of non-Hodgkin lymphoma, and likewise higher concentrations of heptachloropoxide in brain tissues increase the risk of Parkinson diseases. Exposure to chlordane metabolites may be associated with testicular cancer. The incidence of seminoma in men with the highest blood levels of cisnonicler was almost double that of men with the lowest levels. Japanese workers who used chlordane over a long period of time had minor changes in liver function. Heptachlor and chlordane are some of the most potent carcinogens tested in animal models. No human epidemiological study has been conducted to determine the relationship between levels of chlordane, heptachlor in indoor air and rates of cancer in inhabitants. However, studies have linked chlordane Heptachlor in human tissues with cancers of the breast, prostate, brain, and cancer of blood cells, leukemia and lymphoma. Breathing chlordane in indoor air is the main route of exposure for these levels in human tissues. Currently, USPA has defined a concentration of 24 nanogram per cubic meter of air, ing m 3 for chlordane compounds over a 20-year exposure period as the concentration that will increase the probability of cancer by 1 in 1 million persons. This probability of developing cancer increases to 10 in 1 million persons with an exposure of 100 nanograms M3 and 100 in 1 million with an exposure of 1000 nanograms M3. The non-cancer health effects of chlordane compounds, which include diabetes, insulin resistance, migraines, respiratory infections, immune system activation, anxiety, depression, blurry vision, confusion, intractable seizures as well as permanent neurological damage, probably affects more people than cancer. Recently, Transnonicular and excychlordane in serum of mothers during gestation has been linked with behaviors associated with autism in offspring at age 4-5. The Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry ATSTR, has defined a concentration of chlordane compounds of 20 nanograms M3 as the minimal risk level MRLs. ATSTRA defines minimal risk level as an estimate of daily human exposure to a dose of a chemical that is likely to be without an appreciable risk of adverse non-cancerous effects over a specific duration of exposure. Recent results from eight large epidemiological studies in the United States, using seed disease enhanced data, have consistently shown of all the chemicals found in the blood of Americans. Heptachloropoxides and excychlordane have the highest associated risk with insulin resistance and diabetes. Remediation Chlordane was applied under the home, building during treatment for termites and the half-life can be up to 30 years. Chlordane has a low vapor pressure and volatizes slowly into the air of home, building above. To remove chlordane from indoor air requires either ventilation heat exchange ventilation, or activated carbon filtration. Chemical remediation of chlordane in soils was attempted by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers by mixing chlordane with aqueous lime in persulfate. In a phytoremediation study, 
Kentucky bluegrass and perennial ryegrass were found to be minimally affected by chlorodane, and both were found to take it up into their roots and shoots. Micromediation of chlorodane in soil have found that contamination levels were reduced. The fungus Phanerochit chrysosporium has been found to reduce concentrations by 21% in water in 30 days and in solids in 60 days. Thank you.